Hi, I'm Jamie Hope, founder of Methylife, a supplement company that specializes in products for people with MTHFR and methylation challenges. And one question I get a lot is, how much methylfolate should I take? Most folks tolerate methylfolate well, even at higher doses, but because MTHFR is only one mutation that lies along the entire methylation cycle in the body, other mutations can complicate your ability to tolerate it. Think of it like a five lane highway that's been blocked by MTHFR for years, so only two lanes are actually getting through. When you start taking methylfolate, you open up all five lanes to traffic, which is great unless you have a blockage or a slowdown in another place along your methylation cycle. Then essentially just moving the back up to a new place and potentially evoking a different set of problematic symptoms. This is typically why your doctor often doesn't have an easy answer for how much methylfolate you should take. Dosing methylated folate is a very particular and individual experience I found in my clinic. Um, some people tolerate high doses right off the bat and feel great on them. Some people really can only take very low doses. And I think in a lot of cases, it's very important to supplement with a spectrum of nutrients that help the whole body function better as you're kind of opening this dam that's been dammed up for a very long time. So it's a very individualized um, treatment plan. One thing you may want to determine before you decide on a dosage level to target is what sort of symptoms are you trying to alleviate? If depression or mental health is something that plagues you, then 7.5 to 15 milligrams might be the range you want to target. If you have diabetic neuropathy, maybe three milligrams is what you want. If dementia is an issue, then five to six milligrams is a potential goal. If pregnancy after miscarriage is your concern, then one to four milligrams might be your target range. By the way, I'm suggesting these ranges based on prescription products available for these particular conditions. But if you just generally feel fatigue, low mood, pain, headaches, hormone imbalances, anxiety, cardiovascular risks, or suffer from things like chronic fatigue, IBS, Lyme disease, autoimmune diseases, or other unexplainable symptoms, and you know you have MTHFR, your target range is most likely going to be that amount you feel best when taking and you will get to this by experimentally increasing your dosage over time. The right dosing for kids is equally individualized. Um, I always say with kids, start very low and increase gently. At Methylife, we suggest, especially if you are sensitive to dietary supplements or medications, that you start low and go slow. Meaning, begin with a small dose and increase a little at a time over time. We think you'll have the best success if you only make one change at a time whether it's adding another nutrient to your regime or simply increasing the amount of something you're already taking. For more details about dosage, check out our website, methyl-life.com. And until then, we wish you the best of health.